The health of your liver literally can make or break your success with the ketogenic diet. I mean, it's seriously epicentered in your liver. All the processing of ketones and everything like that happens in your liver. So I wanna to talk today about collagen, and I wanna talk about it from a completely different perspective. We see a lot of people promoting collagen products now with keto, and, and that's all fine and dandy, but I don't think they're focusing on what is actually important and why collagen is critical to your liver. Okay, but first off, we have to understand that collagen is super, super prevalent in your body. We don't need copious amounts of it, okay? It's the most abundant protein in our bodies. The hard part is when we're on a ketogenic diet, is if we ever get into a point where our bodies do start to break down protein because we haven't fed ourselves enough fat, the first thing it will start to break down is usually collagen, simply because it's the most abundant. It's gonna take from whatever there is the most of already, okay? But here's the thing. Collagen is made up of something known as glycine. See, glycine is amino acid, which is the main constituent of collagen. And a lot of times people look at foods as just the simple macronutrients, the proteins, the fats, and the carbs. I look at things a little bit different. I try to look at things from a broader perspective and actually get a little bit more narrow in some cases. So when we look at collagen, I don't look at collagen as a protein. I look at collagen as the different constituents of it. And in this case, glycine is what excites me the most about collagen. Because what happens with glycine is it has a huge, huge impact on how your liver works. And I'll get to that in just a second. Okay, but more importantly, glycine is a big contributor into how we synthesize DNA. If we don't have enough glycine coming in, we can't create new cells that are actually programmed to our body's genetic code. So if we're deficient in glycine, our cells can't do their job right. They can't recreate. We can't grow muscle, we can't burn fat. Things just come to a standstill. And I truly think that glycine could be a root of aging or not aging. But anyhow, that's kind of a story for a different day. Let's talk about how it works with the liver. There's a couple of ways that it links to the liver. Hey, pardon the quick commercial break, but I wanna give a big shout out to ButcherBox for helping make this video possible. See, they reached out to me and they sent me some really good quality beef and some really good quality chicken. They know that I'm not into eating tons of meat, but they know that I do recommend quality meat. So down in the description, there is a link so you can get a special discount on trying ButcherBox. I'm honestly gonna tell you, it ends up being cheaper than going to the grocery store. And one of the things that got me the most excited about them is they actually use grass-fed and grass-finished. You see, when you're looking at beef, a lot of times you'll see grass-fed, but if it's not grass finished, it means that they end up feeding them grass when they start and then putting them into a feedlot to fatten them up before ever selling it to the store. So you're ultimately still getting all the grains and the soy and the stuff that's gonna mess up your omega-6 values. So huge shout out to them, make sure you check them out. Now, let's get back to the stuff. The first one is kind of a simple shallow one, so I'm just gonna touch on it for a second. We need glycine to make glutathione, okay? I've talked about glutathione a lot. It's critical when it comes down to detoxing the body. We absolutely need glutathione to neutralize oxidative stressors in the body, okay? They go around and they stop stress. And in today's world, we're under a lot of stress. We're always pressed for time. We're always under deadlines. We're stressed out a lot, and we have all these toxins coming in. So if we don't have glutathione, our body's in a very toxic state, and that puts our liver in jeopardy. When our liver's in jeopardy, then obviously we're not doing a good job of creating ketones, are we? So glycine is a huge backbone for glutathione. Not going to go into a whole lot more detail there. The big connection with glycine is its effect on bile salts. So here's a quick breakdown. When you consume a lot of fats, like you are on the ketogenic diet, your body has to find a way to absorb those fats. And I don't know if you knew this or not, but fats don't just absorb like carbs do. They actually have to be emulsified. You ever put oil in water? Well, that's kind of what happens even with fats in your digestive system. If they don't have bile and bile salts to break them down and emulsify it, it can't ever cross through the enterocyte in through the actual intestinal wall and be absorbed into the body. So we need bile, and glycine is critical to bile production. If we're low in glycine, our livers aren't producing the bile that we need to break down fats. So that's the main reason that glycine is so critical and collagen is so critical. It's good to get glycine in its full collagen form so that you're not missing out on anything. It's called full spectrum collagen versus just glycine that's removed from it. So that makes a big difference in how we absorb and utilize our fats. But guess what? It goes even further than that. You see, what ends up happening is glycine actually acts as a HEPA protector. It protects the liver. And there's a really intriguing study that absolutely blew me away that I want to reference. This study was conducted at the Junten School of Medicine in Tokyo, Japan, and it took a look at test subjects that were consuming ethanol, alcohol. And they gave some of the test subjects glycine, and some of them they did not. Well, guess what? 
The test subjects that consumed glycine in conjunction with alcohol didn't have any liver damage from the alcohol. Pretty crazy. And they found that this was because glycine reduced what is called tumor necrosis factor 1 alpha, TNF1A. Don't need to talk a whole lot about it. All we need to know here is that this study proved that glycine, which is a constituent of collagen, ends up protecting the liver from all kinds of things, specifically alcohol. So this gives us a good indicator of how it can help our liver out. So then we put it all together. We boost glutathione. We actually help the breakdown of fats. And then we also protect the liver from toxins. So we're really saving the liver and letting it do its job a lot better. This is so powerful. Okay, so now let's look at what happens when we consume fats and why this is so critical. When we consume fats, and once they're emulsified, they actually have to go to the liver. So they're broken down first. Fats are broken down into a glycerol molecule and three fatty acids. Have you ever heard of a triglyceride before? Think about this, triglyceride. It means three fatty acids bound to a glycerol molecule. That's all a triglyceride is. So it's consumed, it's broken down into these separate parts. Three fatty acids, one glycerol. All four of those things go to the liver. And the liver has to convert the fatty acids into ketones, and it converts the glycerol into a quick kind of sugar. Okay, so we absolutely need the liver to operate cleanly. What happens if the liver is preoccupied detoxing things, or preoccupied because it's totally slow and can't keep up? We're not creating ketones as fast. We're not able to process the fats better. So we end up feeling lethargic. We don't get the ketones that we need to feel our best. So it's a really powerful thing. That is why collagen is so critical. So anyhow, this is a simple breakdown. Now you understand how the liver plays a big role in ketosis. And I know I keep doing that with my liver, but that's, I guess, what I do. And you also understand how collagen supports that and how collagen supports the breakdown of fats in the body. So as always, make sure you're keeping it locked in here on my channel. If you have ideas for future videos, please make sure that you let me know in the comment section specifically on keto and specifically on collagen. I will see you in the next video.